Hi, this is Bill. So on this demo, I'll be showing you about the incident management uh, module of ServiceNow. So incident management of ServiceNow, it's um, part of the ITSM module. And what you are seeing now is a typical life cycle of uh, incident management. So if there's an incident, basically the goal of the service desk is to be able to close or uh, minimize and remove the disruption in a shortest period of time, right? So from a new ticket, right, it can go into in progress, right, on hold, depending on the reason, right, can be awaiting a caller, right, or probably um, it's on, on, the, on the vendor, basically, a third party, um, people is basically resolving the ticket or and or it could be resolved and it will stay for seven days until it is um closed automatically closed right so let me show you that in service now so here um on the left uh, i've made the search of incident so this is the ui 16 view and um, there are um, quite more advanced ways of how ServiceNow is approaching the incident management. So it used the service operations workspace and the service portal, right? And triaging an incident. But but here, this is the core or the UI 16 admin view, right? And and um, the, the goal is to basically just show you the life cycle of, of um, incident management at the same time, uh, the UI 16 view, right? So once I click here on the open right it will show you the openings all open incidents so i could basically assign to me or look at the resolve tickets right so let us start by creating a new ticket right so when creating a new ticket automatically it creates an incident number right so let's put able tutor as the um caller right so the incident let's say it's a network uh disruption Right, so let's say it's it's wireless, um, and let's say it's an email service. So service now basically works around the CMDB, right? So that's the heart of service now, meaning, um, um, the service itself, the the services will have a visibility, right, of the type of service which is being affected, right? So what's the business impact, right? So if I basically um view the form from here or I decide to basically view from from my um basically desktop right so you will see here um is it this is critical right and if uh, from there I could basically say that it's high impact is high um urgency is high now I could put it into in progress right and from there I could assign it to a network team. Right, so eventually you can auto assign if needed be, um, but uh, eventually the, the 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 support group is empty, but it will auto populate, right, and it will save me from from se of searching for the correct team to delegate to. So as I uh, type in, right, so there's also uh, supporting artifacts or information, right. So as you can see here. I could get from a knowledge, right, in helping me resolve the ticket, right? And I could also um, basically see if there's any uh, interruption, right? So so since there's an interruption, right, I could just um, um, look at it, right, and, and, right, and resolve the ticket because there, it's confirmed there's an interruption. So... So from there, I could basically decide that a ticket can be closed, right? So let us save this first. Um, and let us say that um, the email uh, is, is not working, right? Because a network here needs to be um, restarted, right? So so let's say that um, we would like now to um, resolve the ticket, right? And upon resolving the ticket, Right, it will ask me for a reason, right? So let's say a uh, solution has been provided, right? So let's say um router um needs a uh, restart, right? So it just needs a restart, right? So 
So after restarting, so let's so make it simple, basically, um, it have solved the ticket. But prior to closing the ticket, uh, I want to show you that it has triggered SLAs, right? So the SLAs has um, is automatically attached, uh, as you can see here, that um, the business time left or the promise time to fix it, um, if it's a priority one incident, then it's going to be 59 minutes. So depending on the rule set that you have established, right, or the contract services that you have um, provided to the um, end user uh, as a service provider, basically. So SLAs can be attached here, right? So let us now um, um, resolve the ticket. So now it's resolved, right? So basically, um, as you can see here, so it's uh, it's complaining about an asset action. So depending on the rules, right? So you could um, basically um, look at the, if you need to take um, any action to the asset. So ServiceNow CMDB, right, um, is directly related to an asset, right? So right now there's no action. And depending of course of um, the, if there's an action needed, but now um, let's stick to simple, something simple, right? And right now is no action. And let us basically resolve the ticket. So let's, um, forgot to make market is resolved and save it, right? So now it's, um, let's say solution has been provided, restart um, as of the router, as we saw the incident. All right, so as you can see, it has uh, forms and fields already that um, based on the ISO best practices, right? So, okay, so now it's, um. Uh, successfully resolved, and that's the cycle of incident management in ServiceNow. So thank you so much for watching. Um, please like and subscribe and follow for more.